what I'm gonna do is show you my hi-fi setup. Uh, it is the still it is still the same day as um, when I was uh, the last video when I was um, sorting out my room. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is show the the hi-fi setup in more detail before I actually do it. So. What I've got is uh, I got two switch boxes here. I decided to get these because I have um, more than one recording device. In fact, I've got three recording devices. However, I've only got uh, the Senor Smiley. <laughs> Third one, Senor Smiley. The Senor Smiley is the Marantz amplifier. Um, he's uh, only got one input for for one cassette for one recording device. So I'm gonna you know, make a switch box for a switch box system for, you know, the, uh, what you call it, the, the recording devices. And also it'll have to be not just the recording, it'll have to be one separate one for recording and one for playback, which is, you know, hence why I have to. You'll have noticed that I have omitted the JVC KDF5 for now at least, because, you know, it's it needs restoration and I'm not going to be doing it anytime soon. I also got some cables just for it, some spare cables. So yes, this is my, what do you call it, my diagram of um, my system and how I'm going to set it up. Okay, so let's go through this. So all these are my hi-fi equipment and the Amiga too. All which I drew in deluxe paint on the Amiga while listening to podcasts with my teeth. A fantastic way to relax. <laughs> So firstly, we connect the rec output or the record output of the Yamaha MG06X mixer into the tuner input of the of Senior Smiley. Senior Smiley is the Marantz PM350 amplifier with the UV meters that look like they're smiling. And Senior Smiley. <laughs> Secondly, the Amiga's audio out connects to one of the line in ports of the Yamaha mixer. I forgot to draw it, but my stereo separation device connects in between the Amiga and the Yamaha mixer. Now the external sound card of my Mac is the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2, and a beautiful device I must add. The lineout of that connects to the AUX input of the Marantz amplifier. Next I connect the Technics 1200 record player into the Phono input of Senior Smiley. Okay, so here is when things get a little confusing with record devices. I've colored the play connections, the output connections, as green, and the record connections, uh, the input connections, as red. So firstly, the reel-to-reel -reel play output connects to the first input of the play switch, block, switch box. <laughs> then Senor Onkyo, which is the Onkyo TA2060, his play output goes into the second switch box input. <laughs> Then the Technics Minidisc SJMD100's play output goes to the third switchbox input. I'm sorry, but I kind of got the giggles. Now finally, the output of the play switchbox goes into the tape input of Senor Smiley, the Maran Samp. On some amplifiers, the tape input is named play. Yes, this is freaking confusing. Anyway, now we've done the play section. Now, onto the record section. Now from the Marantz amp, the tape output, or on some amps it's, re it's labeled record, goes to what's labeled as output on the switch box. However, in this case, it's not going to act as an output, of course, as an input. Then the first port of the record switch box connects to the record line in of the reel-to-reel -reel deck. Next, the second port connects to the record input of Senor Onkyo. And finally, the third port connects to the record input of the mini disc deck. So the record section is done. Now to select the record devices you must select the device on both switch boxes in order for to use it for recording. However if you just want to play back from any of these devices you only need to select it on the playback switch box. Now you cannot record in between these devices. You cannot record let's say from the Onkyo to the real to real or from the mini disc deck to the so to senior Onkyo you know, but you can connect anything else to the Yamaha mixer since it's got a few inputs. Let's say something like my portable Sony mini disc player or my Sony D60 Walkman in case you wish to record from cassette or mini disc. Now the Yamaha has got XLR balanced outputs. The good thing about this is that I can connect them to the Focusrite sound device XLR inputs. This way I can digitize anything that's uh, connected to the Yamaha mixer, whether it's the Amiga, a portable mini display, or the Sony Walkman. 
Now, one may ask, why does she not connect the Focusrite 2i2 output to a channel on the Yamaha mixer? Well, the answer is, if I'm recording something onto the main computer using Audacity or whatever else, I wouldn't be able to monitor the recording happening on the computer. It would have to be muted or else there would be that huge squealing freaking feedback. <laughs> so it's better to just connect the output of the Focusrite, the sound device, uh, to an isolated input such as the auxiliary of Senor Smiley. Now, let's start doing all this stuff in actuality. <laughs> Okay, first things first, the stuff on top of the desk, uh, the Focusrite the Scarlet 2i2. What I'm going to do is the, um, the output. This is like the output from the computer. So, oh, it's right, it's left. The, this, I'm just going to like connect this lead to it and feed it down below. Done that. And uh, what we need to do is this thing. Yamaha MG 6 x and this needs to go down also. That's right, that's left, feed that down below also. I'm deciding uh, where to put the switch boxes here. Um, because there's just no other place to put them, you know, it's just everything's jam-packed and there's no space top or bottom. So why are you not coming? <laughs> it's freaking heavy, this thing weighs a ton. Like last night it left me freaking exhausted. <laughs> That's so heavy. And now it's not plugged into the main, so it's all safe here. So what I think will be the best thing is putting these three here. I'm putting the record player on the side instead. Because the first things first is just like swap the positions of these freaking more. <laughs> because if we swap the positions. <laughs> right. This wire is um, the actual one from the mixer. The Yamaha mixer is too short, but that goes in the tuner. So we'll put that in, you know, afterwards. Last. Now this is the focus right. So this goes into the auxiliary input. And let's let's do this stuff. As you saw in the deluxe paint illustration, okay, one of the switch boxes will be playback. I saw Senor Onkyo playback, which is line out. The sound comes out of here. <laughs> the sound comes out of here, play, and goes into. I'm gonna do number two. Now the same a playback line out from the um, mini disc recorder it goes to number three. There it is. So these two cables here are from the reel to reel. So we connect them to number one on the switch box because this is going to be the primary recording device since it's you know it's big. Main and it's all nice. <laughs> so the playback of the reel, the reel goes to number one, which is these two here. And what do we have left? Right, so all these are connected to switches one, two, and three. So all we need to do now is just the switch box, connect the main part of it to the tape input. <laughs> yes, the tape in. It's confusing, it's like MIDI cables in, out, out, in. <laughs> So we have the line out on all these recording devices, the playback line out is going into the box and coming out of here and into the amp. Okay, so to do myself a favor and save on uh, the, um, what do you call it, uh, confusion, I'm going to label this first because I know I'm just going to get confused. So I have my trusty label maker here. There we go. So we have, um, you know, nicely labeled record and playback switch, uh, and uh, it's like it's so handy this label maker. It's like back in the day I used to label cassettes all the time like this, <laughs> and uh, you know, as you can see. Okay, so we've done the playback one. Uh, what we're gonna do now is the record one, and that is basically going to be uh, number one again, the reel to reel which is this um, grey wire here, this grey cable, sorry, uh, and 
again we want to do the same with Onkyo. I'm going to use a really nice lead for Onkyo, you know, it's so Senor Onkyo record in going here, so and then coming out of here, so number one, number two, sorry, not number one. So there we go. And it's just the mini disc now, which is number three. Where's the lead for that? Because unfortunately, I do not have a nice, fancy gold plated one. Actually, you know what I'll do? The playback one, I'll make that, I'll use that as the record since it's, you know, a higher quality cable. And now the record one. I'll use this higher quality. So, record is coming out of this box and going into the mini disc here. The mini disc deck here. All we need now is just to connect the um, the main cable, which is um, the output coming from the amplifier going into here. So. And the tape out of the amplifier. What was tuner? Tune, oh yeah, tuner was the Yamaha and Fono is the record player which again cannot fit here. Okay my last um, video, my last hi-fi setup video, it was like a really old setup even before I changed my entire room around. That video got quite popular and um, it's I got quite a bit of advice from uh, some of you on that video, which I'm grateful for. Uh, one of the advice was, like these wires, I found them really annoying to get inside, you know, these things, the speaker um, clump things, and a couple of you suggested to um, tin them. So this is what I'm going to do now. <laughs> okay, so tinning it, um, it helped and it didn't. At the same time, uh, I'll show you what I mean. When it's something thin like this, that's already thin, um, yeah, it'll fit in. But when it's something like the second one here, that's like thick, it actually stops it from going in because it's just turned solid. Okay, this first one goes in kind of, okay. You know. The second one just doesn't even want to enter. It just doesn't want to drip and I, I hate stripping these stupid wires I really hate stripping this so I'm not gonna turn it you know soldering iron off and the second one is just you see I did it way easier I guess we connect the um, connect. <laughs> so we connect the um, ground of the uh, of um, the uh, record player. Record player, just in case you do not know, record player always goes into the phono input. Uh, mixer is gonna go into the tuner input. So, just connect that and then we just turn everything around because everything is connected. Oh, completely forgot about this. The optical in is gonna go to my sound card. Well, actually the motherboard has, has it built in and it works. So I can just digitally record stuff from now. I just bashed with freaking trying to strip the speaker wire. I just bashed my knuckle right on there, you know, when you're pulling with a plier. <laughs> so yeah, mm, that doesn't feel too great, but I will live. Okay, so let's feed this digital cable down the back because my computer is underneath this on the floor. Because here we have it. Uh, this is how it looks. It doesn't, you know, obviously look as good. As I have no place to put these, so it's gonna have to just go there for the sake of functionality, isn't it? But at least I can control the um, playback, which device plays back, and which device records. It's all connected up and everything. And what I'm gonna do is uh, test this out freaking tomorrow because right now it's stupid o'clock and I don't want to wake anybody up. Not only that, I'm tired, as you could probably hear from my voice. So yeah, I go sleep now. <laughs> See you in the morning.
a recording test on Reel to Reel. So let's just switch this on a reel. So now the reel is selected. Let's do it this recording on the reel. That is absolutely crazy. The source, uh, sorry, the recording, the actual recording itself on the tape sounds better than the source. That is nuts. This is a digital recording of a high quality MP3. And then you record it into tape, a source, that's from the tape that's recording. It improves the freaking quality. Let me connect you directly. So let's test the um, record player. Let's take the phone string off. Oops, let's switch to the phone now. I mean, it's gonna have to be very quick tests because of uh, copyright. I think I will leave it at that for now because I don't want to be flagged by the YouTube copyright police. <laughs> but, um, I hope you enjoyed uh, my hi-fi setup and that if it was in any way helpful to you, that's really cool. Thanks so much for your likes, for your shares, and uh, do, leave a, do leave your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to check out my other videos and do subscribe for more. For now, I will say adios.